This video is going to go over how to make a wax seal or badge look just like you see right here. Um, it's really easy to do and you can do it in a couple minutes or less at least to get the basic outline going before you start adding type and stuff like that. Um, so the very first thing I'm going to do is select the ellipse tool right here from the toolbar. And then I'm holding Alt and Shift at the same time so it just draws the circle out from the point where I click. And I get my base circle going there. Um, right now my weight of stroke is 5 point, but that's not really important. So drag over the circle to select it, and then go up here to Effect, and then Distort and Transform, and then uh, Zigzag. From the Zigzag, just hit Preview so you can see what it's actually doing right here. Um, as you can see right now, the corners are really jagged, so under Points, just hit Smooth. And as you can see already, we got something going on that looks kind of like this, but it's a bit too aggressive. So I'm just going to knock down the size a little bit to we get closer, and we're already basically almost there. But size just affects how far in and out the points go. And then ridges per segment, how many different ripples it has. Um, the more ridges, usually the lower size you want, but you can kind of play around and get it looking just how you want. But I'm going to bring it kind of back down closer to the example I have here. Whoop, right there. Let's try four. The size is looking pretty good here at 6, so I'm going to say OK. And this gives us the basis for what we're going to do. Um, next, I'm actually going to duplicate this, just drag over it. And I'm hitting Control c on a PC or Command-C on a Mac, and then Control f on a PC or Command-F on a Mac. And that just pastes it right in place. And then I'm going to shrink it by holding Alt and Shift at the same time. Um, holding Alt and Shift at the same time basically makes sure that it it just goes straight down and out from where the center is and it doesn't, you know, like if you don't hold alt and you just hold shift, it'll maintain the proportion but will go down to whatever corner you're dragging towards. Um, and then make sure you have your appearance window open and if you don't have that open just go to window appearance and actually select where it says zigzag here. And you can either turn it off or I'm just going to actually delete it since I don't need it at all. And I'm just going to kind of resize this to get it looking a bit closer to this example here. And now, we're, now that we're at this point, I'm going to select this circle in the center here. I'm going to give it a white fill. And I'm actually going to remove the stroke. I'm just hitting uh, stroke right here, then this X or slash, actually, this is none. And then I'm going to take this one, the outside line, and just give it a, a black fill. Things are starting to come together. Um, this is actually pretty close. I'm just going to get a little bit closer there. And then once again, I'm going to hit Control c on a PC or Command-C on a Mac, then Control f or Command-F, and kind of shrink this down a little bit and change it the fill from uh, white to black, just like that. Make it just a little bit bigger. Once again, holding Alt and Shift. That looks pretty darn close to the example. So the last thing here is this kind of dotted line. So I'm just going to select this, the center black one here, Control c Control f or Command-C, Command-F on a Mac. And I'm going to actually hit the swap to swap the fill to the stroke and then change it from black to white. And I'm going to go in here and hit dashed line. And I'm going to have, the important thing here is the dash is zero. And a 12 point gap seems about right for what I'm trying to do. And then I'm just going to go here to wait and move up points until I can actually see what's going on. Um, you can see right now it's kind of making some funky looking uh, lines. Just make sure your cap is set to round cap, and then it turns into circles. Uh, make these quite a bit smaller here. And just hold Alt Shift, kind of get them closer there. And there you have it. As you can see, it's really quick to do, and it gives you a really uh, nice starting point. So you can add in some custom type, or you know, take this out. You can make them straight up dash lines if that's what you prefer by changing uh, the dash from zero to the whatever you think looks best that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. And if this video was helpful, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.